Hello, welcome to Classy Tacos. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to get into installing Miso's custom switch panel on the overhead console. I, I really want to be able to have my switch for the air compressor kind of up where all of you cool guys with your off-roads have your, you know, locking rear diff at. So I want to get that there. Miso sells several different styles of uh, custom switch panels that you can put into the center console. So I have two here that I can show you. I have a switch panel that has three switches and two switches. I'm going to be using the three switch. I bought the two switch for something different, so I'm not going to end up using it. So just let me show you what I'm talking about and what I have uh, on the bench here. All right, so here we are just kind of on the bench. I already have the overhead console kind of out because we're going to, it's just way easier. There's a lot of stuff to do when it's out. These are both of the switch panels that I have. Here is the two-piece in case you wanted to install a two-piece into here. It should fit right in place. And then if you look on the back here, there's actually a spot for two switches. So the good part about this one, the two uh, switch, is that the rear back in here doesn't really need any modifications. The switches will fit um, back in here. Now, I need the three-piece because... I have one of them is going to be for the compressor and the other two I'm going to keep secret until I get that done. So there will be two more switches going into here. Um, and that also fits into the same exact spot on the front here. The problem is here in the back, it's going to take some mods because there isn't a spot for the three switches. So we're going to get into all of that today. All right, so the first thing that we're going to start off doing is just trying to pop off this little piece right here. And I'm pretty sure it should just kind of pop off you know, kind of easily. I don't want to say anything is easy, but we're going to just get our tool in here. All right, there's one. All right, so there's the top off. Perfect. And as you can see, this piece in the middle is going to have to get cut. But just to give you an idea, you see how it does fit in here. Um, and then this one, if you look, see this one? Might go with just a little bit of love. Yeah, you see how that'll go? Perfect. So the easy one, of course, we're not doing here. So next up, we're going to get all of these connections kind of out of our way because we're going to have to cut right here. Pretty easy. Just kind of push down and pull. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And if you look, all three of these are different. So you're not going to be able to screw it up on the way back. So here's where we're cutting and we're going to go ahead and try to get all of this out. I'm going to use this. I'm going to make an attempt at using this guy first. It's just a tiny little, uh, it's called a Dremel micro and I have a quick detach on it. So I will uh, put a link to it in the description. Uh, we're going to give this one a shot first and see how it works. If this doesn't work, then we'll move on to something bigger. All right, so right here, right now, I feel like this is where you kind of want to be extra careful because I'm going to cut this center piece out. You just want to make sure that when you cut the center piece out, you don't take this and drive it into here or into here because you're going to see it. So just make sure when you make your cuts, you try to stay on the inside lip, right? Let me see if I can get this right in this area here. Inside of there is where you want to stay. All right, so we have cleared this up just a little bit. Let's see something. So it looks like these outer chunks have to go too, right up in here. So I'm looking at this, that's not gonna go. Yeah, because it's so tight. These are so tight up in here. These outside kind of pieces have to go as well. All right, switch is out, just because I don't want to mess that section up. Quick check. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more. I'm gonna move on to this guy. This is just solid metal. It's, this one's really good for like shaving pieces of metal, but it should work uh, pretty good for us here too. So 
we take a quick peek right in see here this lip now is gonna see that lip we're gonna have to get rid of that lip as well and a little bit more love Ah, oh, I hit it right here. Man. I have a boo-boo now. Hello, test fit. Looking good. Looks like I got room for my switches. I feel like maybe this one needs to come down just a little bit more. So we're gonna cut this one a little bit more. Well, that's what you kind of end up looking like. I mean, that doesn't look bad at all. Awesome. This is a mess. So prepare for a mess. It looks good. All right, to open up this one a little bit more. All right, that's better. So we're back here. This is what it's gonna pretty much look like when it's in. I did get, so one boo-boo. To screw that up only one which you know is probably really good for me um you guys could probably do this way better than me so the fit is pretty much perfect so i like that got room in the back let's uh plug in let's see so this is nope not that one nope not that one what i do with the switch here we go so compression compressor switch will be right here. Perfect. See what it looks like in the back. Tons of room there that you can get through. Awesome. So that air compressor install is going to be coming up soon. Let's get our stock that switch in. Uh, you can see where they look very similar. Um, they're both pretty small switches, but that's what they're kind of kind of look like. And then. I have these two for now switch blanks that we're going to just throw in there till we get these two guys installed but there you go so that's what it's going to look like in the truck I'll go put it in the truck real quick and show you what it looks like when it's up um just know like so you know back here doesn't look very pretty but uh really no one's going to see that so you can probably make this way prettier. Um, I'm okay with how it is. Let's get our harness on. So, this guy went right here, this guy went right here, and this one went right here. Uh, we retain this clip and this clip here. Um, what I'll do is just run it through here and right there, and we are good so let's go uh, throw it in the truck and get you a quick picture of what it looks like in the truck i just sat down in the truck popped it up i didn't record that because you guys know what that's like so i just want you to guys see what it looks like see how clean his uh products are so check this out it looks just like it should be there pretty much stock and that's exactly what i like about it i mean that's why all that work i think is worth it i did have the one boo-boo is kind of tucked in the back here so i'm not going to really see it from sitting down but that gives you an idea of how good that switch plate looks and operates just like normal, operates just like normal.
All right, guys. I just want to say thanks for watching. So coming up soon, I'll do the wiring for it. When I actually put the compressor in, we'll get all the wiring done for it. So for now, it's just going to sit there like that. But thanks for watching. You guys stay safe out there.